That's some hair. That's your hair. Yeah, that's a lot of it. You're getting a haircut. Mm-hmm. I will also be getting a haircut soon. Look at yours. Yeah, mine, mine is high on my head, and I gotta fix that, but I'll be fixing that soon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Monday. Monday. It's it's Labor Day. A, it's Labor Day. Mal's off work. Uh, we are spending a little time with our family today. We went to um, get some lunch, and then we just came back, and Mal and I really need haircuts. Mal's length is long. And the length in the front is what it's, the new length is, right? I like it. I think it looks good. I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy it, too, because you've been complaining that it was too long for a while. Mm -hmm. So that'll take care of that. Um, and I just need a haircut because it's it's too much. It feels like I have a mushroom on my head. Probably looks like I have Turning a mushroom. A toad? Yeah. That's a pretty good toad, right? No. No? Your opinion is bad. Um, yesterday, I don't even know if we talked about it on the vlog. I know we were talking about like recording stuff, but I don't know if I had specifically mentioned that we were trying to get Bioshock out. Maybe we did. I don't know. We got it out. Problem was, um, I love Final Cut. I, I have, I've been using Final Cut for many years. Um, no software is perfect, and Final Cut Pro 10 does have some issues still. Occasionally, Final Cut eats my generators. Uh, there's a, there's a, a part in Final Cut called a generator where you can make something in, like, motion, where you can change the stuff within Final Cut, if that makes any sense. Uh, a generator, an example of generators, the Patreon producers list, or the uh, the beginning card for the vlog that comes up and says the day number. Those are generators. Sometimes Final Cut eats them. Don't know why, but sometimes uh, just randomly I look in the timeline and it's gone. It does that to text too, occasionally, or it'll change the formatting of text, which has happened once or twice. I remember there was a vlog from, I think, last Christmas where the title was supposed to be in the font we always use, and it turned into like... Ariel or Helvetica, and I was like, what the heck? But I didn't catch it until after it was already up. Um, that happened today, which was unfortunate, because I was up until about 4.30 trying to get Bioshock ready, and then I uploaded it, went to bed, and was like, cool, it's all set, everything's good. Well, unknown to me, the Patreon producer list that's supposed to come up at the beginning of the video was not there. Which makes me look like a bit of a crazy person, because I'm like, you know, the names are scrolling up on the side of the screen, and they weren't there. So, um, I didn't wake up until 1 o'clock, and uh, I, I was I was still in bed, and I rolled over, and I was like, I wonder I wonder how Bioshock's doing. So I, I read some of the comments, and they were like, um, there's no list. And I'm like, ah! So I jumped out of bed, pulled the video, went to Final Cut, and sure enough, the, the cross dissolves for in and out for the list is there, but the list is just gone. And I'm like, okay, I don't know why you're not there, but okay. So I put it back, re-exported it, and it just went up, so... Yeah, it takes a long time to redo that because it has to re-export and re-upload, and it's a lengthy process, but it's up, and uh, people are really happy about it, and I'm really happy about it because it's been years. It's been, I think, over four years since we had first announced that we were going to do the, the series, and it's it's finally happening. But it, it took this long because I wanted to do it a specific way. Um, I didn't have the means of recording it on PC a long time ago. Uh, running it with Fraps, it was just, it wasn't that great. I had run into some problems, and then later on it was released on Mac, and I tried to run it on Mac, and there were some big problems with, like, the graphics and lighting and stuff, and I decided, okay, I'm going to have to do this on PC. And I wanted to do it on PC because I wanted to use a mouse. I, it was a game that I just thought was going to look look better um, and also control better if I if I could use a mouse. And it wasn't until just recently that I decided I was going to try and record it with the Elgato so I could get 60 frames a second. So waiting this long actually was not a bad idea because now we can actually show it at 60 frames a second, which is really cool. I'm going to go into the whole setup of how it was hooked up and things in a later vlog, um, but that is that is the gist of it. So today we're getting haircuts, and then uh, we brought over Flashpoint, because my parents haven't played Flashpoint, so I hope... And? What else did we bring over? Uh, zucchini? Yep. Bread? Because we showed that yesterday, Mal made a, a ton of it, so we brought some of that over to uh, oh, to have. But hopefully, everyone is excited for zucchini and oh, yeah. firefighting, because that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do today. I finally have a haircut, which means it's time for yet another haircut haiku. 
a momentous time. This is the 15th haiku here on Steven Vlog. In addition to that, Mao has a haircut, but we're not doing two haircut haikus. They're, they're, they're hard to come up. You know what? Sure. Two haircut haikus. Wait. Wait, another one? Um, we really only had one ready. Sorry. So now that we've had two haircut haikus, uh, we are playing Flashpoint Fire Rescue. And we've actually done extremely well. I'm green, Mao is blue, uh, Mom is yellow, and Dad is red. And we've went through the house, and it looks like things are not so good. They're not good. It's not good right now. There's there's only three points of structure left for the building, so it's going to be coming down soon. But Mom has rescued nine of the ten people. Two people died, no, but they eight were... eight of ten. Eight of ten. Yeah, eight of ten. There, there was two deaths, but they were false alarms, so no one's actually dead. Mom and Mao each have one of the victims left, so now we just have to try and get out of the house with the last two people, and then we have to get out of the house before it goes down. And it's it's not... We don't have much much time left, but hopefully we'll, we'll survive. My mom moved out with one victim, and then Mao was able to move out with the other. In fact, the only person left in the building right now is me. Mao has got to advance the fire. If you don't kill me this roll, then I, sh I can get out. Yes. You just have to not cause three black boxes worth of damage. Eight, five. That's not a hot spot. That one's the hot spot. <laughs> That's it. That means on my turn, I have five points. Boom, boom. We're all out. We saved everyone and we did it. No one died. Yay. That was good. That was really good, especially because uh, we got really close to the place collapsing. So good job, firefighting team. <laughs> we had a really great Deck gun person, firefighter, fire truck driver, and, and, and paramedic. Saved everyone but one. Yeah, our paramedic actually saved nine of the ten, so. I was the hazmat guy for a while. That worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. Until it was, uh, until I couldn't get to the fire truck and I was like running around the outside of the building trying to get to the fire truck, but. Good job! What'd you think? That's good. It's an interesting game. Mm -hmm. It's a little different being on the team, but uh, I think it's a lot of fun. All in all, I'd say it was a really good day. Mao had off, so she had a nice three-day long weekend, and uh, we got to spend some time with my parents and uh, play Flashpoint with them because uh, they hadn't played that before. And I, I got I got to relax a little bit today, so it was uh, it was good. We've been working pretty hard on getting some stuff done, especially staying up late last night trying to get Bioshock ready. And uh, there's another LP that's supposed to be launching at the end of this week, so it's going to be a bit of a hectic week. Uh, and I'm also learning of some news that's going to be happening probably next month. It sounds like I may be traveling one last time this year, and it may take place next month. So we're going to see what happens. I'm not really sure um, exactly what's going on yet. I don't know all the details, but there's a chance I could be traveling one more time. Uh, but it's exciting. It is exciting. And I think within the next month, I'll probably have a much better grip on things, and uh, things will be getting back to normal. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? My god. It's like an army. There are 75 if you count the two we ate. <laughs> wow. And also two loaves. Now that's a lot. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture.